God showed Adam how to release dominion through two major ways, the mouth and the hands, the mouth and the hands. Remember this wisdom. God showed Adam how to release life, release dominion, release the blessing, release the anointing through the mouth, through the hands. So he had the mouth where he named the animals. I want you to always remember this, that the lion could not be the lion until he named that creature the lion. When he named them, he gave them dominion to be a lion. So it was the mouth that Adam used to activate a tiger. It was a creature, but then he named it a tiger. And now the dominion for tiger tree <laughs> was unleashed. It was a, it was a, 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 a creature flying in the air until he named it an eagle. And then he released the eagle into eagle functionality. He used his mouth after the woman sinned to call her Eve. God didn't even give her the name. Adam had so much dominion that God did not override his dominion. He let him name the woman. If you see how much you carry a dominion that God will not rape, you carry a dominion that God will not step over boundaries. If you notice, God had gave Adam dominion with his mouth, so he didn't override, override that dominion with the mouth. He let him name the woman Eve. The mouth, it releases miracles. How many things have you dreamed about? Have you spoken it into existence? Have you decreed it into existence? What have you done with your mouth? Because there's two major ways that God used Adam, trained Adam to release dominion. It was through his mouth and his hands. Then he gave him the herb bearing seed because that was for his hands. That was for his fruit, his decision making, his sowing. And so his mouth was going to decree God and his hands was going to honor God. His mouth was going to talk Jesus, but his hands was going to entertain Jesus. His mouth was going to release power, but his hands was going to attract power. You know, I think about it. We actually can do, we, we might can double that around. Blessed be God. Let's, I just... I got to have got it. I just realized that I could double that around. I could, I could pit it dead and then flip it and reverse it. It's your jicky jicky jang jang jicky. Missy Elliott was on drugs back then. I think she was. She was on drugs back then. She put on that space suit and it was hot outside. It was over 100 degrees, 98 degrees when NSYNC was still out. She put on that space suit and she wasn't sweating. You know, that's, that's crack cocaine moves. Crack cocaine moves. It's your chicka chicka jang. The herb bearing seed was an anointing for the hands. The herb bearing seed was the anointing for the hands. You imagine that God was telling Adam that the seed shall be for his meat. So even the seed was going to bring Adam into the meat of the word. So there were certain things that God couldn't say to him until he started sowing. My God. <laughs> 
There were, there were certain conversations that God refused to talk to Adam about until he saw that he was serious about sponsoring God with what he had. The seed shall be for your meat and the meat is a realm. The meat we find in one place that is the will of God. But we also see that the meat is a dimension of the word that's deeper than milk. So God was saying, I, this seed shall be for your meat. If you want to go deeper in me, so. Wow, 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 wow. If you, if you want to know me more, so. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If you want stronger revelation, so. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you want the will of the Father, so. So if you want God's perfect plan for your life, you got a soul. Because he said that this shall be for your meat. And King Jesus told his disciples, I didn't go eat no church's chicken. I know that I looked like I had two, two pieces from Popeye's. I know that I, it looked like I had a, 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 a coleslaw. But I didn't have a coleslaw. <laughs> I, I didn't have a coleslaw. He said, my meat is to do the will of the father. So the reason why I look like I am fed, I'm fat in joy, I'm fat in peace, I'm fat in wisdom, I'm fat in energy, is because I have unlocked meat. That's how powerful your hands are. There's always something that's in your hands. What do you have in your hands that will take you deeper than God? Your hands create depths. Your hand create depths. Oh, my God. Sewing hands create depths. Sewing hands. Sewing hands. Every day I sew. Every day I sew. Every day I sew. My sewing hands, it unveil mysteries. My sewing hands... It writes new stories. You notice that Daniel saw that there was a hand writing on the walls. Why out of all things he see a hand? It shows you how powerful the hand is and it's writing a message. So when I operate in my hands, my sewing hands, I write the message of the gospel over my finances. I write the gospel of the, I, I write the message of the gospel over my body, over my health, over my family, over my future. Do you understand how powerful this is? The hands, when my sewing hands are operating, there's hands writing on the wall. There's a hand writing on the wall. My God. <laughs> 